Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Attack on Titan, the final season, episode 7. And in the last episode, in episode 6, so much happened, but I'm going to try my best to kind of compress it into a short and sweet summary so that we can continue because we were left on a little bit of a cliffhanger last episode. So in the last episode, the first thing that happened was we finally, after four seasons, got to meet the final of the nine Titans, which was the Warhammer Titan. Now, interestingly enough, Willy was not actually the Warhammer Titan. It turned out that right after after Aaron had eaten Willy, his sister was nearby and his sister was actually the Warhammer Titan all along. And so she transforms right then and there. But of course, this is not Dragon Ball Z. We're not going to sit back and watch you power up and just skyrocket in level. So Eden just decided to clock her in the jaw as soon as he noticed her. And then he just started wailing on her over and over, trying to kind of, I guess, smash her face in faster than she could heal. But then this is when we finally get to see the true power of the Warhammer Titan when she summons this massive white spike that just shoots through Eren's chest and carries him into the air. And this is where we find out that the Warhammer Titan is actually a lot more than just a Titan that carries a Warhammer. Apparently, she's able to like create and manipulate some sort of material that acts like a liquid, but can also harden into a solid. And we see her use this to make the Warhammer, to make crossbows, to make a whip and she even makes spikes. All of this mashed into one Titan makes me think that the Warhammer Titan, at least power-wise or physically, might be one of the strongest Titans we've ever met thus far. The second thing that happened was, of course, we got to meet the rest of Team Eden. We got to see Mikasa and her new look. We got to see Kony, Sasha. We got to see Levi, who actually swooped in to save the day, but we'll get into that in a second. And right now it seems like everyone's here and boy was Marley not ready for this. The third thing that happened was of course Gabby got to witness her two closest friends Udo and Sophia die in such horrible ways right in front of her. And then as she was leaving, she even bumped into two officers who tried to like tell her, hey, this is dangerous out here. You got to get out of here. And before they could do anything, Sasha just domes both of them. And so right now, Gabby wants answers. And so she picked up the gun and then she ran off. I'm guessing she's going to try to get answers one way or another. I don't know how, but we'll just have to see. And then the last thing that happens is Eden seems to have figured out the source behind the Warhammer Titan's powers. Unlike all of the other Titans, this one kind of, I guess, built itself up from the feet upward. And then Eden noticed that the foot of the Warhammer Titan had this cord that was kind of coming from it. And so he found the other end of the cord and on that other end is where he found Willie's sister who transformed into the Titan. So he snapped the cord in half, the Warhammer Titan fell to its knees and just before he could kill Willie's sister, then Porco comes in, bites his neck, Levi slashes Porco before he can kill Eden, and that is exactly where the episode ended. So, if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. It would help me and the video out so much more than you might think. So if you could take the time to do that real quick, I would very much appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly Attack on Titan reactions. But with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. Alright, so real quick, before we get into the video, in this reaction, I'm going to be trying a new reaction style, which can hopefully make the reaction enjoyable through just this video alone. However, of course, due to copyright, I'm going to have to do some censoring. So, if you'd like to enhance your experience or add a little bit more magic to the reaction, I have some recommendations for you guys. The first one, as you can expect, is going to be to watch this through the picture-in-picture -picture style, and this is very easy to do on PC and it's also possible to do on mobile as well if you're doing it on PC then this is how I do it at least when I watch reactions what I do is I go on Google Chrome and I use the extension floating player and with that literally all that I have to do is go to the source anime video website that I'm watching 
click the extension button, and then it gives me a little pop-up. Then I just drag that pop-up in front of the YouTube video, and it should look something like this for you guys. This way you can see the whole anime, you can hear the whole anime, and all you have to do is just press play as soon as the countdown starts. However, the second recommendation is to please head on over to the Cloud Crowd public discord there i will have free uncut reactions for you guys so that you can watch my reactions with the anime all in one place so if you like to do that head on over to the discord but anyways i will not take up any more of your time hope you guys enjoy the reaction and without any further ado let's get straight into it all right so whenever you guys are ready make sure to grab your source videos pull them up and then get ready to sync them with me because we'll be starting attack on titan season four Episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, and we're getting straight into it. The opening can wait. Oh, it looks like this is kind of a recap, actually. Yeah, Porco's never met guys like us. Yeah. We do this every day, baby. <laughs> the demons of Paradise Island. Oh! My girl Peak. Of course she wouldn't be too far behind Porco, so Oh. Dang. Oh, Gene made it out of there. But even now he's not safe. Dang. Peak. Yep. Mm-hmm. Is he gonna finish her off? Ooh! Oh, snap! Wow! Even at point-blank range! She did all of that?! She summoned a whole tree! Oh, man! Here's big boy Zeke! <laughs> and Levi's waiting for him. I don't know if Zeke's ready for round two. Plus, we're at point-blank range now. There's no more chucking boulders. We're gonna have to throw hands. Gabby. Don't get yourself killed. Dang. Ugh, round two, baby. Let's get into it. All right, so now we get into the opening. Man. <laughs> Dude, imagine if they would have ended last episode like that with Levi zipping towards him. Ah, oh, that cliffhanger would have sucked. But man. Oh, also another thing I wanted to mention. If you guys have not seen it already, please head on over to the channel and check out my Attack on Titan Season 4 discussion slash theory video. I'll be posting a link to it in the description, and there may also be a pop-up somewhere around here that'll take you to that video. And in there, I'll be talking about who I think the true heroes and villains of this story really are, and also, um, I'll be talking about what I think about the general direction that the season is heading in because it's really interesting. I feel like the message of this season is a lot different from all of the other seasons. So make sure to go check that out if you haven't already. And also make sure to leave your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. But anyways, looks like we have one hell of an episode ahead of us. I'd say it's pretty even though because we have Eden, which probably equals, well, no, it's like 1v4, I guess. Ugh, this is tough. 
I think we're at a slight disadvantage. Because I think Eden, of course, equals one of their Titans. I think Levi alone could equal one of theirs. But then, like, Mikasa and everyone together could probably equal one more. Oh, is this who I think it is? It has to be. No one else has fingers like that. And it looks like they made it out of there. Reiner and Falco. Wait, are those even fingers? What are those? Ooh, dang, man. I feel like I'm on a freaking roller coaster right now. <laughs> Except this one has a much higher chance of death. Wow, and we can't even penetrate her shell. Oh, can she actually see us? That's so interesting. Maybe it's because she's not actually controlling the Titan. Because I doubt she could see through both of them at the same time. Ooh, last second. Let's go, Reiner. There he is. Ooh. What is that? He's unconscious. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah, especially after his conversation with Eren. That explains everything. Man. That looks so cool, dude. I love how you could see the Armored Titan's kind of mouth outline on Reiner's mouth. Oh no, dude, you guys, oh my god, they just freaking evaporated. Oh my god. Jeez. What about it? Oh, is he cracking it? No. Oh! Wow. Ooh, jeez. Oh, she tried to go through his nape. But he blocked it with his arm. Oh, he just ejected and summoned another! What? Eren is just built different, man. This dude just jumped out of his old Titan body and summoned a new one. Dang, that's kind of true. We're limited on resources. Yeah. It, this is do or die right here. If we fail, it's over. Peak's got a point. You can't be too hasty. Peaky. 
Oh, he's got more rocks. We know where this is going. Dang. Dude, look at that stance of dominance right there. He's like, come at me. <laughs> What's up, Edith? Ooh. Running out of time. Is that Gabby? No, Falco. He just got here. What are you talking about? <laughs> he hasn't really done anything. He took him down there, and he's blaming himself now. <clears throat> and Gabby, right on time. She came here to claim some bodies. <clears throat> oh, I almost forgot about our secret weapon! Oh, man! And right in front of him! Oh, they aren't ready for this! What's up? <clears throat> <coughs> we finally get to see it. The Colossal Titan, part two. Oh my gosh. All right. Yep. Now what? Looks like the tides have turned here. Dude. You gotta listen to Peak. You can't run in there too hasty, Porco. You're gonna get cut down real quick. Look. Ooh! Levi, of course! Caught him slipping! Now look, what happened to your mighty unstoppable Zeke? He's on the ground. Just. Ooh! Dang, Levi, he's ending him this time. He is ending him. Did he actually finish him, though? Jeez. And there's Sasha. Oh, she got him. Wow. Oh, my God. This is the potato girl from season one. Oh, no. Now Peak is getting hasty. Let's go, Gene. Oh, was that in the eye? Oh, dude, no. Oh, no. No, Peak. Oh, it can't be over. Thank you. Oh, oh, my God. Ah. Oh, no. I know that this is war. I know that it's us versus them. But dude, not peak. You can't do peak like this. I just, I hope this isn't the end of her. Man, who was that?
Oh, this is all the destruction that Armin's caused. And look at him. Yo, he looks so much cooler than Beartold did. And look at him, our boy's grown up. Yeah. That's the same thing that Beartold saw. Wow. I'm I'm with Falco. Please don't do this. But you got to stay focused or else. Oh snap. Did Peak do that on purpose to save him? Cuz he hesitated. Oh my god. She looks like a zombie. Dang, somebody get her out of there, please! I'm with him, dude, everybody! Defend Peak with your lives! <laughs> Dang. And there's Porco. Be careful, man. You've seen the damage these guys can do. Oh, that is what I'm talking about. <gasps> this is nuts. This is nuts. Oh, smart. And his claws were actually able to chip it. Wow. Oh my god. What a crazy exchange. Between him and Porco. It got her out of there. Oh, is she trying to get Reiner out here to help? But Falco wants him to rest. Dang, but Falco's already told her where he is. Planes. Oh, maybe do you think like the other countries are sending reinforcements? Or is this Marley? According to plan. Oh, this is us! And Hanji! Dang. How the heck did we get our hands on one of these bad boys? Dang, look at my boy Armin all grown up. Hmm. Oh. Dang! Arms and legs. Oh, just legs. But both of them gone just like that. And he fell right in front of Adan.
Oh, he said, where do you think you're going? Oh, man. But I'm sure he wants to use his claws, yep. Oh! Oh! One more. Jeez. Oh, he's using his jaw. Snap. And he's gonna force him to chomp down? Oh, this is so nuts! Oh my god. Is this the end? Oh no, this is so bad. If he breaks through, this is the end. Wow, and all she can do is just sit there and watch. Oh my god, and he's drinking the blood. <gasps> no. No way. There's all oh my is Eden a god now? Oh man. Oh man. This is so brutal. They got outclassed so hard here, dude. Jeez. And we're only on episode 7. Oh no. Our boy might wake up. But if... Oh. Oh, he's up now. Oh, man. Oh, man. What is this, Eden versus Reiner part four? Dude. What? Oh, my God. We got Chad Reiner over here. Handsome Reiner. What in the world? Dude, he's got a whole new, like, look and everything. What happened? Dude, oh my god. Oh. Oh, what an episode, man. Holy crap. Zeke might be dead. Peek is severely injured. Porco's severely injured. God. And Reiner is looking better than ever. Oh, dude. Oh, man. This, this fight right here, I don't know, dude. But I wonder, because technically, Porco, he crushed the, like, cocoon that the Warhammer shifter was in, but Eden drank the blood. So... Is, does he still get the powers? Or does Porco have the powers and he has to eat Porco? Like, what is going on here exactly? On that end. But, dude. What a godlike episode. I think this one was even better than the last one. Way better than the last one. Dude. Gabby. Oh, was that Eden that they got a hold of? Holy crap. 
that was a 10 out of 10 episode right there dude that was hands down a 10 out of 10 episode just oh my god he knew that there was no way he could break this cocoon on his own but because he knew it was so durable when porco lunged at eden he used the cocoon to block it and he saw that porco actually scratched through the cocoon so he was like huh he's the jaw titan and if his claws are that powerful i wonder how strong his jaw actually is so he well mikasa sliced off his legs eden ripped off his arms stuffed the cocoon into his mouth and forced him to chomp down on and kill the warhammer titan oh my god and then levi what did i wonder well i mean i'm guessing he's okay i don't think he'd do anything as stupid as like you know igniting or whatever it's called taking the fuse out of the grenade and just sitting there within the explosion radius i'm sure he probably zipped away after pulling the pin but it looked like it happened instantaneously and since he kind of blew into the beast titan's head he probably caught zeke in the crossfire but we didn't see a body so we can't confirm peak got messed up really badly too but she was luckily dragged out of there i think with medical attention she could make it out of this which that's all i'm hoping for porco though porco is in really bad shape and if it wasn't for reiner awakening right here he probably would have died but I wonder, because I think Eden, if he really wanted to, he easily could have killed Porco right then and there. But instead of, like, going straight for the nape and killing Porco, he just decided to try to, like, smash his head into the ground over and over. And that bought enough time for them to wake up, to awaken Reiner 2.0 out here, man. I was gonna say, cause if Reiner just gets up normally, we've seen him fight Eden so many times and Eden has just outclassed him at every single fight. And this time, Eden seems even more experienced and combat ready than before. But we can also say the same for Reiner, he doesn't look the same as he did before. And I don't know why he's gotten this new transformation, but he definitely, like, like his entire face is plated right now and he has like spikes on his shoulders and stuff dude and now he's got a reason to fight he's got people to fight for instead of him just fighting for himself he's got people to fight for he's got family to fight for so i don't know how this next episode is gonna end but man am i so excited to check it out all right so for today's question of the day my question to you guys is going to be there were a lot of like highlight worthy moments throughout this episode and which one out of those moments was your personal favorite i think mine oh man i think first would have to go to of course eden kind of slamming porco's mouth shut but a uh, honorable mention for me would definitely be eden catching porco mid-air and just clocking him in the jaw and then on top of that, Porco just flipped around and like cut his arm off. It was so good, man. Let me know what your favorite part of the episode was. But anyways, with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching this far. If you did, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts on that episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. And with that, I'm going that out. So I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.